Hey guys, it's Chris. From people who found incredible things to others who had their lives spared by mere inches and more. Join me as I reveal to you 14 of some of the luckiest people on Earth. Number 14, where's my camera? This is the story of one photographer who had forgotten that they had left their camera in an unfortunate place. Apparently, the photographer was looking around and taking some pictures of the nearby landscape. But after finishing up, they laid the camera on the bumper of their car. And then, forgetting they left it there, they started to drive away. Eventually, they figured out that their camera wasn't with them and stopped the car, and raced to the bumper where they remembered they'd placed it. Sure enough, the camera was actually still there. In fact, it hadn't moved an inch. Why? Well, the road they were on was really smooth, so there weren't any jolts or bumps to make the camera fly off the bumper. Given how expensive cameras can be, you can bet this photographer was happy they were this lucky. Number 13. Foot Scissors Drop A lady had apparently just gotten a pedicure and was in the kitchen with open-toed shoes, which many would say is not a great idea given all the sharp objects in a kitchen. Anyways, she went to use some scissors but fumbled them and dropped them. This is literally the worst case scenario for this kind of event. And sure enough, the blade end went straight down and plunged itself into the wood flooring, mere inches from where her left foot and specifically her big toe were. More than likely, she didn't come back into that kitchen until she could wear closed shoes. Number 12. Remember the rebar. A man was driving down the highway one day, nothing out of the ordinary, until he came behind a rebar truck. Like most trucks of this nature, the driver had the items strapped to his truck bed in order to keep them there. However, suddenly the truck was forced to stop, which caused the man behind him to do the very same thing. For the truck, it caused a piece of rebar to come loose, fly towards the man's car, go through his windshield, and pierce his seat. And none of this sounds very lucky, but as you can see, the rebar missed the man's skin by centimeters. You can even see the damage it did to his shirt. If this had gone an inch or two the other way, it could have seriously injured the man. And had it gone about a foot over, it could have impaled him through the chest, potentially killing him. Thankfully, luck was on his side that day. Number 11. Late Yet Alive A woman woke up one morning and realized she'd overslept. In a hurry now, she raced to get ready and get to work. Sure enough, she was late, but only by about 30 seconds. As she went through the parking garage, a car fell in front of her, hitting the spot she would have been if she wasn't 30 seconds late. So in this case, being late actually saved her life. Oh, and she was the one who took the photo of this car to prove just how lucky she was. Number 10. Axe to Grind this took place in Topsfield, Massachusetts on the I-95 highway. A couple was driving down the road when they ended up behind a contractor's truck. Unbeknownst to them at the time, this truck had several tools in it that could cause serious damage, one of which was an axe. Unfortunately for them, the axe was not securely fastened to the truck, and eventually it flew off and headed straight towards their car. Unable to dodge in time, the axe did hit. It went through the windshield of the passenger side and then embedded itself on the dashboard about a foot or two away from the woman in the seat. As you can see, if the momentum had carried it further, it would have hit that woman. Number 9. Flip Out a man on a motorcycle was waiting patiently for a chance to get back on the road. As he was preparing, he noticed that a car was getting too close and that it was going to hit him. So he tried to get off the bike, but it was too late. He got sideswiped and flung off the bike. Thankfully, due to his position on the bike and a very lucky flip, he landed on the ground safely with no major damage. His bike, however, wasn't so lucky, as it hit another car on the other side of the road because of the momentum the first car gave it in its collision. Still having a broken bike versus a broken life is a trade most would agree to make, including me. Number 8. Fishing for a Good Outcome one time, a girl had a fish that she truly adored. However, the family had cats as well, and this cat decided to do a very bad thing one night. The cat got into the girl's room, went to the fish bowl, which had an open top, and then promptly knocked the bowl off the place it was on. Luckily for the girl, the fish bowl did a vertical 180, which made it so the open top was the thing that hit the ground, creating a near-perfect seal with the floor. As such, the bowl had only a slow leak, and the fish wasn't thrown out of the bowl, which would have killed it, or lost all of its water, which also could have killed it. We would make the bet that the cat was not allowed in the room from then on. Number 7. Train of Thought 
A man decided to get some video camera footage of a train. He's facing one direction as the train moves in the other. To get a good angle, he goes right up to another set of train tracks. Unbeknownst to him, another train is coming on that set of tracks he's next to, and it's coming from behind him. The train barrels past him, missing him by mere inches. If he was on that track in any way instead of right next to it, he would have been killed or at least very extremely injured. This is why you don't go anywhere near train tracks. Number 6. Bend It Like Beckham This is a duo of tales, both concerning cars parked by trees. In both cases, the trees fell over and headed straight for both cars. However, quite counterintuitively, both trees bent as they fell, and they bent in such a drastic way that they actually missed the cars completely. No damage to the cars whatsoever. While one of the trees might be explained because of the type, the other tree is quite massive, and it's very lucky that it didn't total the car rather than leave it alone. Number 5. Crocodile Jump A man in Australia was on his boat when he noticed something in the water. It was a crocodile. The man was not in danger of the croc getting into his boat, so he felt the need to show it to his friends by leaning outside of the boat and pointing to it. Fun fact, not only can crocodiles lunge out of the water, they're known for their first strike abilities, which this particular croc showed to Novin Mashaya, who promptly jumped back to the middle of the boat so it couldn't reach him anymore. And this proves the most fundamental rule of nature. Don't provoke animals that have an instinct to strike. Number 4. The Driver Near Miss Take a look at this photo. Do you notice anything wrong? Exactly. This should have been a very fatal car accident. Emphasis on should have. You see, this particular car was driving behind a truck carrying some heavy metal contents, but he didn't have them fastened well enough. Because of that, one of the sheets of metal came flying off and crashed into the car. Now, if you've paid attention to the picture, you'll notice that the steering wheel is on the right side of the car, which means that the driver was there instead of on the left side where the sheet metal hit. Also, the man wasn't driving with a passenger, so there's that too. No one was hurt by the incident, and that's a miracle and a lucky break. Number 3. Perfect Balance one of the worst things that can happen to you while you're driving is to somehow, some way, get knocked off the road and into a barricade, especially when said barricade is trying to prevent you from going off a cliff or a sheer drop, like this particular incident. Your eyes do not deceive you, this is a perfectly balanced car with a very large fall below them. The slightest movement likely would have sent them flying over the edge. Thankfully, with all the people around the car, they had more than enough to make sure the car didn't go over. But this shot proves that they didn't have much room to work with. And there are more stories like this one, believe it or not. But you can bet that most wouldn't want to be anywhere close to the edge like they were. Number 2. The Declaration of Independence To be clear, a person didn't find the original Declaration of Independence that's safely locked away in Washington, D.C. However, there were copies of the original made back in 1776 and one person found one of them in a very roundabout way. This happened in 1989, and in Pennsylvania no less. A man was at a flea market of all things when he saw a picture frame that caught his eye. He purchased the frame for $4. When he took it home, he removed the picture that the frame had in it already, and when he did, he found himself looking at a mint condition copy of the Declaration of Independence. Historical records note that only 25 copies were made back in 1776, so for this one to have survived this long makes it a true national treasure. Sure enough, after getting it authenticated, he sold it for $2.1 million. Then in 2000, someone sold it again, this time getting $8.1 million. Number 1. Eye Bulletproof Anthony Kaufman didn't think his day would be any different from all the days that came before it. And so, as usual, he put his iPhone in his front pocket of his jeans and went about his day. But on this day, though, he was trying to meet a prospective customer. Kaufman had made a custom computer and was thus trying to sell it. He met a man via Facebook who said he was interested, and they agreed to meet at a school to do a safe exchange. But not long after meeting him, the man pulled out a gun. The two struggled in the car, and eventually it went off a few times. Kaufman tried to get away from this man after the shots rang out, but he had backup. Kaufman made it out of the situation alive, but his computer was gone. As for the bullets, one of them did indeed hit him in his iPhone. Yes, his iPhone had survived the bullet, and the only thing that Kaufman had was a tear in his jeans. So on that day, his iPhone was not just bulletproof, it potentially saved his life. 
Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of these extremely lucky people and the days they had that were indeed also lucky? Which of these stories shocked you the most? Which ones made you cringe at the thought of what happened? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist and I'll see you next time on the channel.